Summoner 25 Gamers, today's episode, Offensive Game of the Week, we're using the New Orleans Playbook. We're going to show you how to beat zone coverage in Madden 25 by uh, by running the football from this uh, single back, or excuse me, the weak H twins formation. And um, the play we want to focus on is the uh, halfback blast. It's our run audible down here. Um, we really like this running play. We can run it to the left side, and you see it's going to get good separation. Look at, I mean, the very first run play against 3-4. And the beauty of this formation is, against zone, there are a lot of times going to base on. That's just what people do out of zone. And you'll see this, this, this run play is just really tough to stop against zone. Because when you base align, they're taking a defender out of the box. So we now have a really effective run play. Now, I like to, to try to bounce this out wide. And sometimes that's sometimes that's the right read. Sometimes it's not. As you saw right there, that's probably not a good time to do that. So be disciplined with this run. Um, and run it inside if need be. But then again, you know, never had. I always, I really like to run the ball outside this year. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, it's actually, you know, probably in your best interest with this run to kind of keep it like an inside zone type run for five yards in a cloud of dust environment. Now, if they don't baseline. You could always just playmaker the run to the right, but it's not as effective as like the Saints power out. So let's be honest with you, right forward. Um, the quick audibles, you have slants, nothing really cute there. Um, PA wide receiver dig is a pretty nice play here. What we like to do is we like to put Jackson on a wheel route. Wheel, I can't talk. Stupid cut in my mouth. Uh, a wheel route. And we're going to run the play action here. And against a, I don't even know what I called on D. I think I called a cover three. But... A lot of times, against zone, this wheel route is going to crush zone. Obviously, if he doesn't run the wheel route, it won't. But, anywho, this is a really good route against zone. Because of the deep in route by X, this wheel route, passing that up, it's just going to you know get deep. Now, that was like a super glitchy coverage by that corner, but again, the combined with the play action here, so your first read is not going to be the wheel, I just wanted to show you that. First read is going to be the corner route to Chandler. Okay? Um, second read, and remember, that we're talking zone coverage here. Second read is going to be the deep in route to Woods, pass lead down to the inside. You see there. Third read uh, is going to be the deep post to Johnson pass lead that up. And you see it's pretty effective against zone. And then your very last read on this play, and this is, comes a lot of times like this in cover two or cover three situations. And this cut is really killing me. But, oh, I forgot to audible to the play. No wonder it didn't work. Um, but in cover two situations, it's played to... Triangle, I'm telling you right now, pass lead that up where the safety's just not there. Um, against cover two, it kills it. So, pretty good play against zone. Slot deep out. Um, really, the only thing we like about this play is we have a snap throw to the to the running back there. You see that? Really good against zone. I think it's one of the better snap throws in the game. Nobody talks about it. Nobody who runs the Saints play. I hear. I don't hear that play call much. But I really like this run against. And what you can do, guys, real quick. Check this out. Look at how easy you can audible back to your I form and run the power. So you could really use this play as well as your nice little quick pass play. Um, just a really good formation overall. And like I said, you know, just build off of that little quick throw, mix an ins, out slants, and drags, and you'll be good. What I like to do uh, personally with this play is I'll drag Woods, and then uh, if, the, if the snap throw's not there, then I'll look to Woods. A lot of times that snap throw will be there, I'll just be honest. But if it's not there, that means they're going to user it. If they user it, then we're going to have the drag underneath. And it's just a lot of mesh and crossing patterns in this offense. Um, real quick, I want to just show you cover three against the snap throw. You see it's still open. Um, obviously, he's got to catch it. But, but anyway, you get the idea here. A lot of good uh, reads out of this little formation here. So... Uh, and then also, if they're in like a cover two, the route to Chandler is very effective because of where it sits in the field, basically right in the seams there. So you can hit that on the double move, or you could actually wait for it to open up. 
as it cuts across the field, you can just like lob it up, pass lead up, and user catch it. You can do whatever you want with it, but again, this is it's just another read to have. This is more uh, slot deep out is more of a man beater um, because you have your you have your snap throw, which I don't like as much against man. Obviously, right there you see why. Um, but you also have your your man beating Poco route here to Chandler, a little double move route, and then you also have a man beating um, a man beating out route to, to Johnson here. You see it? It'll beat man. So, guys, that's going to wrap up the weak twins. It's, it's very simple. It's a bread and butter formation of mine. But, guys, don't underestimate the power of the run in this game. And this week we're really going to showcase how to really run a true power run scheme in Madden 25. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to break down how we beat the Blitz with using, the running, uh, with using a run formation. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the videos this week.